Hi Chargeheads, so uh, this episode we're going to go into a little bit more detail on an EV conversion and how it all works with the help of Nick from Eco Classics who had uh, something very special on his wall in the uh, cow shed uh, but that's coming up very shortly. Uh, you might be thinking, where am I? Well, we're in the Chargehead support vehicle because I was getting really naffed off with the Echo um, every time I did a video in my house and unfortunately there's no, in, no other room in the house that is suitable so I thought, well, Let's use the charge as support vehicle. It's meant to be. Um, hopefully, it sounds a bit better and uh, lights okay, etc. But very excited to see the next video coming up uh, after this one will be unplugged performance or thorny motorsport, uh, concentrating on Tesla modified parts. So check it out. Even better, subscribe, like, share with your friends because I'm really pushing for that thousand subscriber mark and pushing on forward. So. Anything you can do to help me with that would be awesome. Enjoy. Nick, when I came into your uh, cow shed, um, <laughs> um, I noticed that you had a wall of uh, parts, which some of them I knew what they were, some of them I wasn't so sure. And I thought it would be great from, uh, from a charge heads point of view, anyone that doesn't understand um, what electric cars or even EV conversions mm -hmm. need, you, you could take us through everything on the wall. So yeah, um, yeah please, Far so this away, is uh, how it's done. It's exactly for that, right? It's so that we can talk through all the different components. Yeah. It's not wired up yet, but we are going to wire it up and actually have it running, oh, wow. so that we can actually put new parts in there. Yep. Test different things in there. Something doesn't function properly, we can put it up on here. We can write the software on here as well, right? So for us, it's a it's a bit of a test board, but also use it to explain things to customers as well. Okay. So in here is. Yep. A, is a battery. This is 10, 10 kilowatt hour of uh, battery pack. It's got the BMS in there. Yep. So, so when you say BMS, that's the battery, battery management, management system. system. Yeah. Okay. So it controls everything about the battery. It tells how much how much um, current it can give out. Yep. And how much it can accept okay. when it charges and, and monitors temperatures, etc. So based on temperatures, it will it will say how much can you how much can you give me or how much can I take. Okay. All right. Um, None of it's live, by the way. Okay, <laughs> um, so yeah, you'd, this, be, you'd be wearing gloves. <laughs> I would, I at least. Would. Oh yeah. Um, so connection from the battery into the inverter. Yeah. So the inverter is matched with the motor. And when you say inverter, I was uh, pulled up on my last video explaining what an inverter was, uh, uh, saying that I'd not done it properly. Now, please, Nick, can you explain what an inverter is? So the inverter takes the DC from the battery and turns it into three phase AC. So the direct current. The direct current from the battery, the battery yeah. yep. into alternating current, which yep. is also three phase as well, right? So your, so your normal house supply is probably single phase. Right. So you'll have a, a live neutral and earth. earth yeah. This has effectively three lives as such, right? So three phase. Right. Um, so yeah, inverter into the motor. Yep. This motor is actually out of the stag, oh, yes. stag that we're converting. Yeah, because that's on the uh, YouTube series that you put videos on, which yeah. is down at the barns. Down at the barns. Yeah. Check it out, guys. Yeah, have a look and there. Girls. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, motor out the stag. Yeah. There is a cable that sits between these two. It's got CAN control. So the only the only input and output on this is CAN. It's got CAN power and earth. What does CAN stand for? Uh, control area network. So, area. I'm glad you know that. I know that CAN is the messages that it sends to um, certain parts of the uh, EV conversion or the, uh, the management system of the car to yep. allow you to know things that come up on the LCD screen and yep. it, yeah, it moves messages around. Basically. Yeah, basically it's just, it, it's a twisted pair of wires that it sends um, control area network so you're doing commands. like an LEG thing there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so it just sends the data backwards and forwards, right? And we'll, yeah. we'll talk about some of the other components and, and, and that side of it cool. in a minute. So okay. this is the charger, seven kilowatt charger. Yep. Takes 240 volt AC yep. through the charge port yep. into here, converts so it into DC. Sorry, just to stop you there. So seven kilowatt is the maximum that you can have from your- On a single phase charger at home. At home yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is water cooled, so it's actually quite compact. If you get an air cooled one, they tend to be a little bit larger. Right. And this this has also got built in DC DC, so converting it from three fifty volt nominal down to twelve volts. Yep. To run your 
battery. Yeah. So okay. uh, yeah, using the inverter um, to uh, basically charge charge your 12 volt. Yeah, battery, it, it powers up your 12 volt system. Yeah. Because obviously you haven't got the motor and the alternator charging. Yeah, there is no there is no alternator no. in there, right? This is the brains of the system. So okay. This is the uh, vehicle control module, mm -hmm. and that we talked about CAN just now, right? So all the CAN messages are effectively the the software resides in here yeah. and, and interprets all that and sends it sends out the messages to control everything. Um, this is throttle pedal. Yep. Twin track throttle pedal. Twin track, very important. I like that. So yeah. it's automotive standard. You need the twin track from a safety point of view. Yes. If one fails, you've got uh, a second track. Yes, because okay. you don't want it to be full on or full off at any point, do you? No. Hence the twin track, yeah. which I learned from, uh, from Ralph. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, selector. So you can drive neutral reverse. Yep. Uh, I'll come back to this one in a minute. This is a vacuum pump, so if you've got uh, a boost brake booster on your car, you need yeah. a vacuum. So yeah. normally that's generated on the engine, so we have to rep we have to put that into the car. Fan, because the whole system's water cooled, mm -hmm. we need a fan on the radiator and down the far end there, there's a water pump. Okay, so yeah. we drive all of that. You can either use a relay box, so that the the um, VCM will send out. Don't fall over. <laughs> v VCM will send out a signal to the relay box yeah. to turn on the fan, turn on the vacuum pump, whatever okay. it is, right? What we're now tending to use is this, a PDM power uh, distribution module. So it will send a, a CAN signal to this. Right. That will then turn on whatever it is. So this is like a, an electronic relay right. or an electronic fuse. So it, it's far more reliable than a fuse box, basically. And we can do PWM control, pulse e width modulation. So it just means that we can run the fan at, at whatever speed we like. Yeah. We can output a, a signal to it, so it will run at 200 RPM or up to you know, whatever the maximum RPM is, depending on how much cooling is required. Right. So it just gives us more flexibility in the system and generally more reliability. What you don't see here is, uh, is a touch screen. So we have got a touch screen that matches into this as well. Okay. So then you can control it. So we're doing, the stag has got um, AC on it. Right. So we've got screens for AC, we've got screens for charging, we've got all of that side of it on here as well. Okay. So yeah, that's the whole system. As I say, it's not fully wired up and functional, but it, but it will be, and we'll be able to do software uh, development on it, no, interchangeability of parts, yeah, and we can swap different motors in and out, right? If we want to run the motor out of the E-Type, we can do that. Uh, so a bit of testing as well. Yeah. Great. No, thanks for showing us that. That really helps, certainly me, understand uh, the parts a bit better and hopefully uh, people at home. Good. Awesome.